Oh, wobbling. Mix it around. Just pop that, pop that yolk. Pop that yolk, and then mix in with the bread again. Scoop it. Oh. Oh. Today we're in the city of Bacolod in the Philippines, where they take their bat choy, which is a local Filipino noodle soup, very seriously. We're gonna be trying one of the best bowls in the city, and then afterwards we're going to a factory to see the full, and it's a very interesting process, making piaya, which is an extremely famous sweet in the Philippines. We're going to a place, it's called the Super Bachoy House, and we're gonna eat something called bachoy, which is a noodle dish, a very popular noodle dish in this region of the Philippines. And there's gonna be a lot of goodies in it. It's gonna be really meaty, I believe, and I'm excited to try this next. Oh, here we are, this is a very popular place. Today we just, uh, there, there's two types of, uh, uh, two main types of bachoy that we have some chicharron delivered. And I'm in the kitchen now, I'm gonna get a bachoy the full special bok choy. It comes with noodles, it comes with a variety of meats and liver and chicharron fried crispy pork skin, and then the special comes with an egg as well as bone marrow inside of it, and that soup broth just smells incredible. Okay. So you want to prepare two bowls of them? Sure. Oh yeah, Martin. Okay. Okay, that's beef, beef, beef. So here we are, this is my first bok choy, this is, and this is a super bok choy, full option. The egg, the bone marrow just kind of curdled in there, and as he pours that hot soup in, it just kind of, like, that bone marrow just kind of melts into the broth. It serves with, served with bread, served with some pepper that you can season with, but first you gotta just go in for that broth. Oh man, that looks so rich and thick. All of that fat, oh, and the chicharron, the liver in there. Wow. So just kind of mix it around a little bit. Just going for that soup first, just to, to get a first taste of it. Okay, here we go. Mm. Wow, that is meaty. Oh man. The bone marrow just melts in your mouth. You've got the crispiness of the chicharron and the meatiness of that broth. The starchiness of the liver. Maybe mix in now. Some pepper? Yeah. Mostly, make the chili. Yeah. Yeah. Make the chili. <laughs> so you drink the soup, and then you keep topping it up with more soup. Before you eat the noodles? Yeah. Such a rich broth. So rich and so meaty. And you get some bread. And get some bread. Freshly baked little mini bread. Which you also dip into the dip into the soup, yeah. Mm. 
just fully absorbs. And then we've got the egg over here too. The yolk floating around, partly cooked. Oh, wobbling. Mix it around. Just pop that, pop that yolk. Pop that yolk. And then mix in with the bread again. Scoop it. Oh. Oh, there's so much, so many things going on in here. So many meat parts and noodles. Again, yeah, it's just extremely, extremely meaty, really rich and hearty. This is the type of thing that you could eat, and it'll definitely keep you full for a long time just because it's so, so heavy and really flavorful. So we've got another extra cup of the, the broth. People will actually just top up with that broth. There we go, now we're back to Back to the, the beginning again. I might add a little bit of soy sauce to my next bite of noodles. Yeah. It's kind of fun to eat, too. Mm. Whoa. That's my first bowl of bok choy in bakala. I like those noodles too. Yeah, it is kind of like a, similar to, to a ramen, yeah, but like a extra meaty. So many different proteins. So many different mm -hmm. And a lot of soy sauce too? Bok choy? Oh yeah, that was a really good, just warming soup noodles. The meatiness of the broth, but then the cleanliness of it as well, and just how like pure tasting it is. And then all those different components together with the pepper, with the soy sauce, that's what made it really good all together, a harmony of meatiness. This place is called the Super Bachoy House. That was delicious and one of the iconic foods of Bacalod. And also I think this entire region of Philippines, uh, but they are an icon for Bachoy in Bacalod. How many, how many piaya? 150. Piaya, how do you pronounce it? Piaya. Piaya, piaya. And how many, how many pieces per day? A day, 150,000 pieces. Per day. day. Wow. Per day. Okay, so next up we are at the Mersey factory where they make, I mean, Bacalod is very well known for their sweets. And so one of the things that you absolutely have to eat when you come to Bacalod is called piaya. Piaya? Did I say yes, that correct? Pi -ya -ya. Okay, piaya, piaya. <laughs> so we're gonna just walk around the factory, see some of the production, and see what goes into it, and then taste it. We're going in. Hey, here we go. Welcome to our world We're suited up, we're in the factory now. It's huge, it is like a gymnasium sized factory. Wow, that tells you just the scale and the importance of Piaya in Bacalod. And how, I mean, it's known throughout the Philippines as one of the great sweet snacks, kind of like a cookie bowl. We'll find out, we'll see, we'll see how it's made now. Yes, before putting the dough in the encrusting machine, you have to dip in the sesame seeds. Oh. This is the extruder mark where the filling comes out through the nozzle and then the dough will encapsulate the filling. Okay. Then over here is pretty cool. It has a, it's a brown sugar mixture, which is the original version, a brown sugar paste. That comes out of a tube, squeezes out of a tube into the batter, and then they're flattened out into little patties. Wow, this is a cool machine.
That's a pretty amazing process, man. That machine just pumps them out continuously, flattens them into patties with that sugarcane mixture in the center. So those are ready and they're ready to be, be cooked. That is a very cool process. So they just cook on a hot griddle, flipped a couple of times. You can see them crispify, and then they're, it's pretty much the whole process. They're ready to be eaten and consumed. This is the piaya ube and the original. Okay. So kaunta? Is it hot and fresh? Yes. Okay, we've come to the best part. It's time to try them. I gotta try the original first. All right. And then, so there's two different, there's two different versions. The original, which we saw the whole process with the brown sugar inside, and then the ube, which is, is it sweet potato or sweet uh, yam? Or? Purple, Purple yam. yam. Purple yam. Okay, but let's try the original first. And these are hot and fresh. Oh, I love that. Like, it's kind of, kind of like a cookie and crispy, but then at the same time, you can feel that inside. Should we break it open and see what's inside? Oh, it's kind of gooey. Namit? Namit. Namit. Oh. Oh, I like how it's not too sweet because it's that brown sugar cane molasses -y taste to it. It's kind of gooey, kind of crumbly and flaky all at the same time and hot and fresh. That's really good. Yeah. That is like, man, it's perfect for coffee as well. I kind of drink coffee and eat this. It's kind of like a cross between a cookie and a pie, but all handheld. Really good. I love it. Naman, naman, naman. Except for the the ube. Also, it's even the batter is ube. Yeah. The batter is ube, and also the the inside. Oh wow! Fantastic. Crispy and flaky and gooey all at the same time. And you've got kind of that, that starchy purple potato feel to it as well. Man, it's good. What, what's wrong in your mouth? I mean, something like that. <laughs> and that is the bakalad piaya. Fantastic. Something you gotta eat. And that wraps up our food tour today with a great sweet ending. But also when you're in Bacolod, don't miss the incredible chicken in asal, which I think is some of the greatest Filipino food grilled chicken. And then also kansi, which is a giant bone marrow soup. But thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next video.